personal antidote. Like the first time I experienced your product was in a house that I walked into. It looked like it should have smelled, but it didn't. And that's where I sold out the ERPs. Hey guys, it's Matt Hoots here, and I'm here with Travis, and they've got this cool multifamily ERV. And you mentioned there's some branded technology, like a Virtuo and some other cool things. So tell us how that works, and you mentioned that it can reverse. Correct. Yeah. What does that even mean? Like, what, well, first of all, what is an ERV? What is this even doing in the first place? Yeah. So an ERV or energy recovery ventilator. Again, we're using, we're taking fresh air in moving it through a filter and then we're taking the stale polluted air out of the home at the same time at the same rate and using that to temper the incoming air and so through that ERB we're able to deliver fresh filtered tempered air to the home. So with this and, and, and the, 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 like different efficiencies and stuff like that so what is the efficiency of this particular unit? Yep so this particular unit's up to 84% oh, wow. sensible recovery efficiency so again what we can do with that outdoor air tempering it with that indoor air. I'm saying wow because I haven't heard a number that high before. So I'm assuming that's one of the best in the market. So, but you said this is designed for multifamily. So what's the difference between like single family and multifamily ERVs? Yeah, the main difference is the, the profile. So the form factor. So in multifamily, floor space is a premium. So the, the likelihood you have the space to put a different style unit taking up that space, very limited. So with this low prof profile, you're able to also mount it like in a ceiling cavity and again, conceal it or keep it at a very short height uh, to again, eliminate any need for additional floor space in those multifamily applications. And since it's multifamily, I'm assuming like the, the CFM is probably more rated for multifamily. Like what is what is the, the range of CFM on these units? Yeah, so we can go from 35 CFM all the way to 155 CFM at 0.2 static. So gives you that infinite range. Again, you can size between that small studio apartment all the way up to that much larger, even small family home, single family homes as well. Hey everyone, before we dive into the rest of today's content, I've got a special announcement to make. Today's video is sponsored by Sawhorse, and we have created a dedicated page to cover all of the products that we reviewed on this channel so you can buy these products yourself. So every one of these we either have a video for or we have images showing you how we use these on our projects. We provided a link to our shop in the upper right hand corner and also in the description. Now let's get back to today's content. And you mentioned something that you can reverse it. I explain that to me because like yeah I heard you it theoretically it makes sense but like why would it even matter for multifamily yeah so particularly in multifamily the floor plans can be mirrored you know whether it's across the wall or across the corridor and today what happens is you have to specify a I'll call it a standard airflow skew and a mirrored airflow skew and what that drives is a lot of complexity in the process so design engineer needs to specify two, two different models contractors got to make sure they're moving those models in the right you know floor plan uh, distribution has to stock those two models and so with this new BLP 150 what we're able to do is specify one model able to install one model maintain one model and stock one model so before you had a left and a right now it's just yeah whatever. mirror yeah the terminology might be standard airflow mirrored airflow Got so it. now we just have one model and with the flip of this onboard switch you can dictate which side becomes the exterior terminations so that really cleans up the ductwork the days of having to install the unit and then route ductwork 180 degrees is completely gone so this can always go in the same spot in the dwelling and it's just a matter of that switch pointing which direction your exterior ductwork is going so and i appreciate you guys doing that because a lot of times you said mirror airflow i'm still going to stick the left and the right yeah feet. yeah um you go to buy hardware they only have all of one they, only, they don't have one or the other so like stocking this is, is, is a pain i know a lot of times like when, when you're when they're, they're selling Let's just take hardware for, for instance. You can pull it off, reverse it. You guys have come up with the same thing, which is important. This is a big item to, to have like too much of one or not enough of the yeah. other. The fact that you can have both in one unit is, is pretty amazing. Yeah, it's, it's really that simplification story from, again, from the specification all the way to that final install maintenance piece. So. Now, is this is this one, I know you've got the, the cool AI technologies in, in all of these. Is this self-balancing as well? Or it how, is. How does that work? Yep. So this features the same virtual technology like we do with our other AI series okay. products. So again, you have that auto balancing piece during that commissioning as well as that self-adjusting over time. So once that contractor has set that CFM, this unit will continue to, to act upon whether it's uh, filter uh, clogging or exterior termination coming clogged over time. This unit's going to continue to respond and always meet that target CFM that was set initially, obviously within, you know, reasonable range. And who else has that technology in their system, the AI technology? Nobody else has that Nobody technology. Has that. Yeah, you guys must have invented it and patented, right? We've been working on it for several years, and yes, so, it is patented. So yep. you got like another, what, 15 years before somebody else can 
Yeah, maybe five to five to seven. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. So this this is this is definitely the one the one to go with. Right? All right. Well, any, anything else about this? They just they, they just buy it through the normal supply chains. Yep. Anywhere you can pretty much get a Brown product uh, through wholesale distribution, you can get this BLP one hundred and fifty. Okay. So. And, and I do want to do a personal anecdote. Like the first time I experienced your product was in a house that I walked into. It looked like it should have smelled, but it didn't. And that's where I sold on ERVs. Like I think it was like one of your first first releases. I walked in, it's like, why does this house smell so good? I think I thought they did some sort of air cleaners. Like, no, we're just bringing fresh air in. But it was a house that looked and should have like smelled like grandma's house, but it didn't. So I was like, you know what? This this for the longest time they say ERVs don't work in this house. Puts in too much moisture load, but the fact that you're working at 84 percent or 84 percent yep. efficiency means like you don't have to worry about that. You're, you're, you're not bringing extra excess moisture from the outside, but you're getting the benefit of that fresh air. So that's pretty amazing. Yep. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Matt.